Hello everybody! So recently, quite a few of you guys have mentioned that my face looks sharper and slimmer these days. So there's been a few accusations. One is that I lost weight and two is uh, because of Botox. So while these are both very valid reasons for having a slimmer face, I have to say I've neither lost a single pound or had Botox. In this video, I'm going to share some of the tips and tricks I've been doing that worked really effective for me. And I also want to stress that I've always liked my kind of roundish face. Round face girls tend to look more youthful and innocent. However, I must stress that uh, there are factors that contribute to making your face extra bloated, extra puffy and round than it naturally should be. I mean, you'd be surprised that your so-called natural puffy cheeks could actually be self-caused after all. What I'm going to be sharing is not going to dramatically transform your face to an extreme degree. However, it will bring out its natural definition. So I'm going to split this video in three parts. The first part, I'm going to be sharing some very effective tips for preventing and also minimizing a puffy face. I'm also going to be sharing a uh, facial massage technique, which in my experience worked amazing for me. Second part of the video, I'm going to share how you can use makeup to create an illusion of a slimmer face, giving instant results. Third part of the video, I'm going to be sharing and demonstrating a product that I've been using slash testing. So I'm pretty impressed with the results. All right, so let's start out with the tips for preventing and minimizing a bloated face. Salty and processed foods contain a lot of sodium in it, which is a huge factor in giving you a bloated, puffy face. So what happens is your body will try to retain the water, and uh, by retaining the water, it tries to dilute out the sodium, hence giving you a bloated, puffy face. So definitely try to cut back on your instant noodles, pasta sauces, whatever it is. Of course, I can understand that on some nights, instant noodles may come in handy, especially when you're pulling an all-nighter. Just make sure you drink extra water to dilute out the sodium in your bloodstream. It's the same for alcohol. Not only does it dehydrate your face, it makes your face extra puffy and bloated as well. So say you're having a glass of cocktail, then try to drink at least twice in water. The next up, I do this every single morning without a feel. And I would wake up and I would down a glass of cold water. This helps to flush your toxins out of your body and rehydrate your body and face again, hence minimizing the puffy face. I also love to splash my face with cold water in the morning because it helps to constrict the blood vessels, helping to depuff the face, stack your pillows. For example, if you just sleep with one pillow for now, then add another pillow. And this helps to drain the fluids effectively and prevents the fluids from building up around the face when you sleep. Now we're gonna move on to facial massage. So a year ago, I went to do a facial and uh, the girl did something that um, when I left the salon, somehow my face was a lot sharper and smaller. And what she did was facial massage. And today, I'm gonna share how you get to do it for yourself. Before you massage your face, make sure it's clean so remove every scrap of makeup. Here I'm using a moisturizing mask on my face to minimize the friction. You can use olive oil or a facial massage oil instead if you wish, anything to make the face a bit more slippery. So here I'm going to be using my little massage tool. Beauty QQ has shown us that you can use a ceramic Asian spoon instead if you don't have one of these babies which I'll also be demonstrating. So from the center of my chin, I move the massager outwards along my jawline with a firm pressure. As I reach the edge of my jaw, I always bring it back down my neck. This improves the blood circulation and drains the lymphatic tissues which have built up over time. When I first did this, I actually felt a lot of tiny bumps, kind of feels like frozen peas, but the more I have massaged my face, the less bumpier it has become, which is a good sign because it proves the little lymphatic tissues are being drained off. Now demonstrating with my little Asian ceramic spoon, use a curved edge to massage the face. Now always remember to work down the neck. As Beauty Kiki mentioned, imagine the neck as a plumbing system. You're flushing away the toxins and excess lymphatic tissues. After a few minutes working with the jawline, now I start at the center of my chin and work towards the top of my ear. As always, I always remember to work it back down my neck because we're draining everything off. So once you're done with one side, then you can move on to the other side. So for me, I like to spend at least five minutes on each side. So in my experience, facial massage worked most effective for me. It gives pretty much instant but long-lasting results. It's free and you can also do it in the comfort of your own home. Now I'm going to share how you can use makeup to sculpt a thinner face. Of course, you're going to need a brush. I personally prefer to use a dome brush because I find it's the easiest to work with and allows me to build up better. You'll need a contour powder, so something that's a few shades darker than your skin tone. For it to look natural, no shimmer please. 
Okay, so getting some powder into your brush, remember to tap off the excess so you don't apply too much at a go. Now suck in your cheeks and do the fishy face. The cheekbones is the highest and wider part of your face, so you're sculpting the hollow area underneath it. So remember to keep a light hand and gently build up the shadow. A tapered brush will lightly feather in the color. Oh, remember to not extend the corner of the eye. This is important because it keeps the contouring looking very natural. You rather work in light layers rather than apply too much at a go because you'll just have a hard time blending everything out. Your forehead is part of your face, so if it needs rounding off, you can do so. Just scoop it along the temples and then right underneath the cheekbone. Look straight ahead into the mirror, then feather the brush along the jawline as if you're shading off the edges you want to slim down. As always, keep a light hand and gently blend into the neck. Now I can do the same for my other side. If you have a double chin, you can shade underneath the chin area. Okay, so now hopefully you can see not only does my face look smaller and sharper, it also looks warmer as well because we just added some color to it. Now whipping my brush down, you can always work with highlight as well. I'm going to apply it to the high points of my face. So I'm just going to brush it on my cheekbones. With my cheekbones looking more predominant, it will actually make the face appear a lot smaller. And by highlighting my chin and my forehead, it creates a diamond effect, hence making the face looking sharper. If you want with a small brush, you can highlight the bridge of your nose so it looks taller. You can also add this blush technique or just wear it on its own. Basically, take a bit of blush and wipe in the excess. Work by starting in the center of your cheek and work upwards. This will actually create an instant facelift effect, making the face appear a lot slimmer. Here, if you compare one side to the other, one side looks more lifted. And this is how you can use makeup to subtly contour and define the face. Now I'm going to share some of these products with you guys and um, I pretty much tested them for quite a while now and I'm pretty impressed with the results. This brand is called Beijing and it's Japanese and then this one is called Diamond B Fit Mask which is a Korean brand product I believe. Um, to me, I think they work both just as fine. For this video, I'm demonstrating with the Japanese brand. So it looks like this and it's got little hooks on the ears and uh, yep, I forgot to tie my hair up again. I'm sorry, I admit it's a bad habit. So hooking it on my face, I'm just going to position it well so it contours around my jawline and neck. So this mask is supposed to work on its own but I like to use it in conjunction with this uh, slimming band from the Diamond V. So I just strap it on my head. And with the felt curl, you can secure at the top, so just make sure it's nice and firm. And yes, I know it looks as if I belong to a mental institute, but hey, whatever works. After a few moments, I actually feel warmth in my face. And the mask will basically accelerate metabolism and boost the lymphatic system, contouring the face and detoxing the skin. And the slimming band will actually increase the slimming effect, keeping the warm sensation even longer and lifting the face even more. So when the mask completely cools down, which is by 20 minutes, I remove the slimming band and also the mask, and the skin gets a little red, which is normal, so don't worry. And result, my face will look visibly smaller and sharper. So the Diamond V one covers a smaller area of the face, but in my experience, the, um, the heat goes on longer. Obviously, with face massage, you get great results free, but if you find that like you know you don't really have time or you can't be bothered, then uh, these do come in handy, and I certainly recommend to use in conjunction with one of these. My face isn't totally like transformed to be like you know skinny mini. It still has a sense of roundness in it, but it's just more defined naturally. So thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Stay tuned for a video on hormonal acne coming up, which I'll talk very soon. Bye everyone.